بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اور ٹوڈیز لیب از ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ امیج انڈائسز اینڈ ٹو اپلائی دیم پریکٹیکلی ان ایڈاس امیجن کیو جی آئی ایس اور آر جی آئی ایس اینڈ ٹو انٹرپریٹ ڈیٹ ہاؤ دیز انڈائسز دے آر ایکچولی یوزفل فار ریموٹ سینسنگ اپلیکیشن اور ٹائم لائن فار ٹوڈیز لیب فرسٹ وی ول انڈرسٹینڈ امیج انڈائسز دین وی ول میک دی فارمولا انڈرسٹینڈ ہاؤ ٹو میک اے فارمولا then we will apply that formula in uh, EDAS imagen or QGIS and then we will interpret that output in indice image and then we will finally conclude our lab so starting from the uh, very basic first you already have uh, gone through the lecture that image indice it is basically a ratio between different bands starting from the very basic a satellite captures the uh, captures the ground scene in different bands so using the information of each individual band different features can be extracted for example if a user is interested to study or to extract vegetation he will use the uh, the band which provides the maximum information in that in for vegetation what uh, this statement means that for vegetation i will analyze all the bands and then i will finally find that in nir vegetation has a maximum spectral reflectance or vegetation has a maximum response maximum spectral uh, response in nir band then i will find which band shows the minimum response i i finally will finally find that uh, in nir it is maximum and in red it is minimum so i will make an indice for vegetation studies i can make two types of indices <clears throat> one is simple indice that i will divide nir divided by red band and then i will make normalized indice that is nir minus red divided by nir plus red so there are two type of indices one is simple indice and the other one is normalized indice right so this is the basic understanding of image indice similarly if you want to study water or some other uh, indice you want to create for example an indice is named as normalized difference water index so you will note that which band gives you the maximum reflectance for that uh, object if it is water vegetation or, or any other and then you will note that which band gives the minimum reflectance and you will use those band to create indices or ratios one that is called as simple indice or simple ratio like for vegetation that is nir divided by red the other one that is called as normalize that is nir minus red divided by nir plus red right so normalize means you are normalizing the values between minus 1 and 1 now to move on with this lab first of all we have to use uh, let's uh, learn how to uh, apply this we have learned to how to make a formula uh, i will repeat again that you have to note that in which band that object is showing maximum reflectance and then you have to note that in which band that object is showing minimum reflectance so you have you will use the uh, those two bands to create either a simple ratio or either a normalized ratio now the next thing is how to apply these formulas in edas imagine or qgis for example i have edas imagine here you know that how to open up an imagery in edas now i have opened this imagery that is of landsat 8 it covers district aptabath now i can see that it has composed of six bands you can change the band combination of your choice to see different features for example i can see the forest cover here uh, i think this is yes uh, river body over here all right so you are either you can use your own data or you can uh, download the data from uh, usgs earth explorer you already have learned how to download data now this stacked imagery that composed of six bands okay what i want to do is to calculate ndvi right so i have to go to toolbox i have to use the model maker you will click on this model maker a window will appear right now in this window in the last lab we have learned how to create a model you will input a raster a function and an output right so you will have to input your imagery that is subset stack declare it as float 
you have to use the formula over here near infrared minus red divided by near infrared plus red and specify the output right once you specified the output you will click this execute okay this is our ndvi image right now the next step is to reclassify these ndvi values which you uh, we have already performed in one hour of our lab and to extract the water right from these uh, values for example, if uh, you have to go to ArcMap or any other tool and we have to reclassify these values and extract some suitable layer. Now what is important is to note that these all operations which we have performed in Redas or ArcMap app, we can also perform in QGIS. For example, this is a study area image which I have. You can have the same layer of which we have opened in ArcMap, uh, Redas image in or some other your data set what you have to do is to go to raster you have to go to raster calculator and you have to calculate ndvi the same method which we used in edas imagine by making a formula once you made the formula like you have done in the last lab you will specify an output layer and click ok your ndvi layer will be calculated right now the next thing is to uh, reclassify these values right so in qgis we have a tool if you go to the processing toolbox, right, there is a tool reclassify by table. You will click reclassify by table. You will specify uh, your NDVI. And you will uh, reclass set the values. You will add three rows. You will set the minimum and maximum value. For example, minimum minus one maximum till zero this is my first class i will name it as water now this is the second from zero to till 0.35 this is my second class i will rename it as two then you can set 0 0.35 till one and this is your third class rename it as three you have to click ok and specify the output image wherever you want to save it save to a temporary file and you will click run now based on these table your data will be reclassified then you have to interpret your data for example the higher values i have set in this image were for healthy vegetation in this class 3 so they are shown over here that these are healthy vegetation or green area right so you can specify uh, different values and have uh, you can get the different output so you can calculate uh, ndvi using raster calculator and then you can reclassify these NDVI values, right? I hope now this uh, process is clear. You have to interpret this. And then finally, we conclude that image and dice, we learned how to, uh, what image and dice means, how to make a formula for a certain feature, how to apply this formula in Adas, Imagine and QGIS. And then you will reclassify and interpret your output and dice. And uh, that's all for till here. Now, what you have to do is, uh, you have to download your imagery of any specific region and uh, you have to apply NDVI values, right? Uh, you have to at least take uh, imagery from a region where there is a river passing, right? Like you can take the imagery of Lahore where the some river is passing or any other area of Pakistan. Now you have to uh, use temporal images, right? Five year interval imagery. And then you have to uh, run NDVI on three temporal images. As a result, you will extract water from the three images. And then you will compare the uh, path uh, extent of the river, how it changed in the uh, in three temporal years, right? Uh, you can change, uh, take an interval of five years, 10 years. I will explain each and everything clearly in the manual. So you have to perform it and submit this lab by uh, next week right thank you